Now at 4.30, the latest on the indictment of former President Donald Trump. This is the first time in U.S. history that a current or former president has been criminally charged. The indictment is connected to allegations that Trump paid hush money to an adult film star during his presidential campaign in 2016. Trump is expected to be arraigned on Tuesday. The former president's attorney said he will surrender voluntarily, but plans to file legal challenges. And right now, we are really dealing with some unchartered legal territory, and there is a lot to talk about this afternoon. Joining us right now is attorney John Pavia, an adjunct professor of law at Quinnipiac University. Attorney uh, Pavia, rather, forgive me. Thank you very much for being here this afternoon. I do want to quickly mention some of your history here because you have a long one. You started as an assistant DA in New York. You also worked with the former president's attorney, Joe Tacopina, and you also teach a class that focuses on the prosecution of public officials. So I feel like that's like a check, check, check. You're the perfect guy to talk to right here. <laughs> <laughs> so can, let's uh, start with... I don't know if Joe Tacopina would say that, but maybe. Well, that's all right. We're, we're happy to have you because you obviously have uh, some good information and a good background. Were you surprised by the indictment, and, and what do you expect to happen on Tuesday? No, I wasn't surprised by the indictment. I, I think um, I'm going to, I'm really curious to see what else is in the indictment because I, I don't think every count is going to be um, something we expect. I, I fully expect there's going to be something we don't expect um, having to do with could be the way he reported his taxes, his New York taxes. I, I don't know, but I, I have to believe there's something else in there. And on Tuesday, it'll be a circus. Um, I think out on the streets, once you get into the building, I think it'll be run um, pretty orderly. And um, again, once they come back out on the street, um, it may be a circus, circus again, I suppose. But once he's inside, he'll be uh, he'll be fingerprinted. Um, he'll be presented. The indictment will be unsealed. We'll all get to see what, what's in the indictment and what all the counts are. It's interesting and very important to point out. There's obviously all this drama surrounding this over the past few days, a couple days, well, really one day now at this point since the news officially came out. But no one knows what's in this document, right? So really anything could be could be laid out there once we all see it. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, you know, we've, there's been so much. There's, look, everybody's talking about it, um, but the, the reality is, nobody really knows what all the counts are in the indictment. Obviously, the payment of the hush money to Stormy Daniels seems to be at the center of it. Um, so then that's a, you're going out on a limb there. Um, but, you know, what else is in there is going to be very curious and how they tie that into um, a felony um, is especially interesting to me. You know a lot of the key players here personally. What do you think is going on down at Mar-a-Lago right now as uh, Tuesday gets closer? Well, I, you know, I, I, it's funny. I don't. Um, I, I actually did text with Joe very briefly yesterday. Um, I didn't ask him this question, but um, I, I think right now there's a lot of uh, discussion about how to handle the, the the first phase, which is the presentment, um, entering the plea, making sure that whatever goes out publicly is in, in some way going through some kind of control mechanism, which. I think as we've seen from history now uh, over the last few years, it's probably very hard to control uh, former President Trump because he's inclined to just go on Twitter and, and uh, or on social media and uh, and, you know, say whatever's on his mind. So I think messaging right now is probably the hardest thing they're dealing with. The legal arguments are all going to fall into place. We don't have much time, but do you expect uh, some other things to happen here, whether it's out of Georgia or potentially from the Justice Department? Yeah, so I, I I absolutely believe that the president, former president, will be indicted in Georgia. I think he'll be indicted um, by Jack Smith in D.C. Um, this case being the first one, I don't know that if I had my choice, this would be the first one because I think this is probably the weakest out of the out of the the bunch that he's facing. And also, you know, and, and I may be biased, but um, Joe is a heck of a trial attorney. Uh, he's a yeah, he he's at home in the well of a court. Um, you may not like his style. But he is uh, he's very accomplished. He's very good. He's very aggressive. So Alvin Bragg and that office, they're going to have their hands full uh, with, with uh, Tacopino, that's for sure. All right. Well, we certainly hope to have you back soon. We appreciate you joining us this afternoon. It's got to be a very interesting course that you're teaching there at Quinnipiac as well. Uh, fascinating topic. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.